Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at PIP management. PIPs is the term we use to refer to how our power distributor is set between systems, engines, and weapons. As energy is sent from your distributor capacitor to your various systems, having your PIP set properly to keep as much energy in each capacitor is critical. Let's look at why and how to maximize your power distribution. Where your PIPs are set not only changes the recharge rate for each capacitor, but the amount of energy that capacitor is able to deliver to your systems. For example, running four PIPs versus zero in systems makes your shields effectively 2.5 times stronger. For engines, the difference in cruise speed will vary greatly from 20 to more than 80%, depending on the ship. Depending on what you're doing at any given moment, having your PIPs distributed properly makes a huge difference in how your ship performs. For a simple example, in a non-weapon exploration ship, you'd want to run your pips at 2, 4, 0, meaning 2 pips in systems, 4 pips in engines, and 0 pips in weapons. If you're landing on a planet, you may choose to put 4 pips into systems in the event you were to hit the planet hard. In both examples, there is no reason to put any pips into weapons, as you have none. If, however, you were using limpets, you may need to return a pip to weapons if you actually emptied that distributor. However, that's unlikely using just limpets. For combat, things get a bit more complex. For our first example, let's look at a shield tank, say an unengineered fer de lance. If you aren't yet actively managing your pips, you should be running 402, giving you maximum shield strength. While this will mean you can't really boost, and you may run your weapon distributor empty from time to time, remember, you can't shoot if you're dead. For a hull tank ship with no shield, we'd be able to run our pips at 042, 033, or even 024, depending on the conditions. Now, let's look at active pip management during combat. First, we'll start by creating some macros to manage our pips. There are many ways you can do this. I'm going to be using voice attack. First, we'll need to know what keyboard keys are bound to your pips. For this example, I have left, up, right, and down mapped to systems, engines, weapons, and reset respectively. In voice attack, open the profile editor and click on new command. While I suggest executing this command via keyboard or joystick input rather than voice, you'll still need to set a voice command and a key or button press. Next, we'll add our keystrokes. For 402, we'll first send down to make sure we reset, then left, left, right, left. Save that and we'll create another for 420 by sending down, left, left, up, left. Follow these steps to create additional commands for the six we'll want. 204, 240, 042, and finally 024. Once you've created the six different macros and bound each to a key or button, it's time to put them into practice. You'll want to make them very easy to reach. I run them on a hat on my throttle. Once you've familiarized yourself with their locations and can remember them at will, it's time to jump into combat. Let's start with a shield tank vulture. We'll want to start the engagement at 402 as we'll want to make sure we have maximum strength to our shields. As we pass our target and no longer need to fire, we can put our pips to 420 to assign extra power to our engines, increasing our pitch rate. This would not only allow us to turn faster, but recharge our capacitor if we've boosted at any point. Once we're back on target, we'll want our pips back at 402 to make sure we have enough power in our weapons distributor. Now let's look at a biweave hull tank, such as a Chieftain, where we don't necessarily need to keep four pips and systems at all times. Here, we'll want to be far more active. As we pass our target, we'll move our pips to 240 to get the fastest possible turn rate or to 024 to get a fast turn and recharge our weapons if they are low. When we are face to face and tanking constant fire, we'll want four pips and systems as much as possible, actively switching to 240 and 204 as we pass and need to turn quickly or charge our weapons again. This will be based on your weapon loadout. Some will require far more weapon capacitor than others. Proficient use of your pips makes a huge difference in any engagement and will bring your combat skills to the next level. The examples shown here are meant as a general guide to help you better understand active pip management. This isn't something that will become second nature overnight. Practice will make perfect. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching.